Hi guys, I'm Nuni with the Helping with the Helping Hand Stylist. I have come up with some ideas to help you to remember some of the Milady standard cosmetology skin diseases and disorders. I'm sorry if my pronunciation is incorrect. So let's start with the lesion. Lesion is a mark on the skin. So let's start with the primary lesion. Bulla, how I remember that is being a large blister. Cyst is a fluid sac. Macule, it's a small discoloration. Papule, it's a pimple. Pustule is an inflamed pimple. Tuberculo, it's a large solid lump. How I remember this is being um, when testing for tuberculosis. Berkeleyosis, um, you are testing for lumps to see where the lumps are. Tumor, cell mass. Vesicle is a blistered fluid. So vein is deeper inside. Um, so wheel is an, it means an itchy, swollen lump. So how I remember that as being um, a weasel bug um, bite you, you'll get itchy. So the next section is the secondary lesion. So crust, it means a scab. Excoration is an abras abrasion from scratch. So excor, scratch. Fis fissure, it's a, it means it's a crack in the skin. Keloid, it means a thick scar. So how I remember that is my old classmate, her name is Mackle. Her attitude is so thick that she leaves a thick scar on people because she hurts their feelings. Um, so scale, it means flakes of epidermis. So scale, flake. Sincicatric. Syn or a scar, so it means it's a race mark due to injury. So, if you're, how I remember this is, if you are a sissy and you do some tricks, you'll get hurt. So, ulcer, it means an open um, pus diverted. So, the next section is the disorder of the suspicious gland or the oil gland. So, Cumdum, it means blackhead due to oil or oxygen. So how I remember that as being like a volcano has a cone or cone volcano. Um, Mila, it means a burning cyst of small keratin. So it feels just, it's filled just underneath the epidermis and have no visible opening. So mini, how I remember it as being mini, you so you would have millions. Acne is an inflammation envi due to environment. Seborac, seborac dermatitis. So it means an inflammation of the suspicious gland. So the the prefix seb um, it means dry or underneath. So the word astyntosis it means dry skin, no sebum. So the the prefix astyntos. So a s t e a I'm sorry, the word A-S-T-E-O, it means absence of oil. So the next word is, um, the next word is rosacea, it means redness, redness, puff, shiny. So how I remember this is uh, rosy, red. Symptoma, so it's a, it means it's a cyst or a fatty tumor. So, um, tumor, 
toma, I'm sorry, toma. So tumor, toma. But just remember that this is a fatty tumor, not your ordinary tumor. Um, so the next section is the disorder of the sodophoresis or a sweat gland. So uh, anhedrosis, it means deficiency in perspiration. So you can see the prefix an, it means anti or lack of. So and the hydrosis, it means sweat. So you can see that combining them would get you anti-sweat or deficiency in, in perspiration. So the next word is the brohydrosis. It means foul smell, um, foul smelling sweat. So how I remember this is um, brother smell. So you have a brother that he might smell a little bit when he sweat or something like that. So bro smell. So hyperhidrosis, ex it means excessive sweating. So anytime you see the word hyper, it means excessive or more of something. So the next word is miliata, um, ruba. It means pricky heat, small red vessel. So the word milli, M-I-L-I, it means million, and ruba, so burn, ruba, red, burn, you know. So the next section will be the inflammations of skin. So dermatitis, it means vessel, pustule, so uh, derma for skin. So the next word is eczema. It means dry patches or itchy. Dry patches and itchy. So next word is herpes simplex. It means it's a virus or a blister. Psoriasis is a chronic disease, red patches, and it has white scales. So the next section is the pigmentation. So albinism. It means absence of melanin. So again, anytime you see the word um, A, the prefix is A at the beginning, it means lack of something. So, so we have albinism, so it means absence of melanin. So this person might not have pigmentation in their skin, you know, so that's what they call. So the next word is Chloe asthma. Increased pigmentation. So I have a, I know a girl, her name is Chloe, and she's black. So Chloe, um, increase in pigment. Chloe, cl asthma, increased pigment. So the next word is lentiscinous. Um, lentiscinous. So AKA freckles. So um, if you guys, no, the, the word lentes, lentes, the bean lentes, um, it looks like, so it's brown and small, so it looks like a freckle to me. Um, leucoderma, so it means white patches. So anytime you see the, the word L-E-U, leuc, it means white. So you can see that it means white patches. So nervous. It means birthmark. So how I remember this is um, fetus, nevus, birthmark. So so when it's a so when you give birth to a fetus, it's pretty permanent. So birthmark is pretty permanent. So fetus, nevus, birthmark. Stain is the H spot. Um, disease irregular. So stain, how I remember this stain spot. So tan, the word tan, it means changes in pigmentation by UV rays. So when you're getting a tan by, by receiving UV rays, so you 
get a tan, you know, you just change your pigmentation there. Well, so next word is the 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 tea the tea legal. So it means white spot. So so this word how I remember this has been veins are broken by thyroid. So if you have thyroid disease, you have to um treat it with uh by getting into your veins to, to break that. So the next section is the hypertrophies of skin. So the first word is hypertrophy. So it means abnormal growth of skin. So again, we see the another prefix here, hyper. So it means more of or excessive of something. So you have abnormal growth of skin. So keratoma aka callus mole is the race race skin skin tag is an extra skin race skin veruca aka warts so the la next section is the skin cancer so the first one is the basal cell carcinoma it's the most common and least severe it looks light or pearly no, notice. Um, and then the next word is the squamous cell carcinoma. So it's more serious than the basal, the basal cell. Uh, it's, it looks scaly red papules and or notice. Um, so you see the prefix um, squamous, S-Q-U-A-M, it means um, flat or a scale. So you can, yeah, those are more serious than the the basal um, the basal cell cinnamoma cancer. So the last type of cancer is the malignant malignant melanoma it means black it looks black or dark brown patches on the skin it appears uneven in texture so it's jaggedy or race so the last section is the um, derma dermatitis ven, venita um, so it's aka contact dermatitis uh, it's commonly, it's the most common skin disease in for nail technicians. So um, most of this term you don't need to know for the uh, state board, but I see um, the word uh, I see the the word uh, tumor on state board, and I also see. Um, Let's see. Pus, pustule. I see that word as well, and I see um, fissure, and I also see um, hyper hyperhidrosis, and I also see. They also ask about um, what's another word for the derma derma. Dermatitis, dermatitis ventiga. Um, so yeah, good luck with studying. Um, most of these words will be on your um, your test in class, but then you don't need to remember all of this on the state board. So good luck.